What that happened, what happened when we put that in is it created a, a pond that went 75 yards upstream. <laughs> this is all sitting on bedrock. You could walk down through this channel, it was all bedrock. So we've altered things rather dramatically. Now we were trying to sample during the storm event, and we had our sampler down here. Well, what we had was a huge pool of water. Uh, it took time for that floodway to move down to here. So we put a sampler at the headwaters until this filled in, and now that's not an issue. Uh, we also, you can see there's a little fence there to collect major debris. Um, this whole terrain has been altered rather dramatically in the last, uh, um, since September. The geomorphic characteristics change a lot. There's also a wet fall, dry fall collector over here. We're not actually operating that one at this time, but basically it's underneath the pine. So we were collecting weekly samples for probably about 12 years, and those data need to be looked at as well, but they would reflect basically what happened with the chemistry of rainfall interacting with the canopy and dry deposition as well. We do know that there are differences between deciduous and coniferous. The coniferous through fall is much more acidic. And we think that uh, the needles, there's been a lot of evidence from this, the needles are much more effective filters of gases.